What's up, everyone? Welcome back. And Celtics head coach Brad Stevens lured away from a very successful. Yeah, some of these guys do have some really interesting looking tattoos. Of making that decision. The only hard part of that decision is leaving a place that you really loved for 13 years. I couldn't have left without knowing that it was a place that we were going to stay together and really commit to a process together. And I was sold on that, and I continue to be sold on it. I wonder if Coach Brad Stevens feels like he's recruiting another college class with all those draft picks boxed in his stockpile. Well, I don't know how he would address that question, but I do know he's feeling real good about his decision. I mean, taking the Celtics to the playoffs in just his second season, I mean, I think he's one of the bright coaching stars in the NBA today. It was the NBA's game and college basketball's loss when he moved on to the Celtics. Well said. And off we go, a close game. Now <laughs> in the Finally took it. He's sick of his shit. He's like, I'm sick of your dribbling bullshit. It's all about their defense. They have just done a terrific job. Then he accidentally stepped out of bounds there, though. Spacing of their opponent. Every shot is challenged and challenged well. Taking a look at the 76ers. Robert Covington out there with Noel. Then it's Thompson. Then there's Okafor. And it's Roten in at the one spot. Well, guys, what a nice surprise Tony Roten was last season. Especially effective taking over at the point, Clark, with Michael Carter-Williams gone. Yeah, Roten put up a career-high five assists per game and... Really worked hard at the defensive end as well. He's one of the few talents on the Sixers roster. Nice dumped that shit in there. That was a nice move. So now Philly breaks into the double digits. Yeah, and you don't want to be giving up guys put back slams. That's not the kind of play that can build confidence. Now here's Lee. Wyatt so far offensively searching for his first points of the game. Here's Turner. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. Avery Bradley, he's checked in for Isaiah Thomas. Avery Bradley. 76ers shooting 31%, not looking sharp offensively to say the least. There's a screen by Noel. Okafer dishes to Covington. He kicks it to Noel. And he goes in. Dunk that shit in there. That gives the 76ers the two-point lead. Been a close-ass game so far, so. Yeah, definitely some good shit. That's easy. Real easy. And for Roden last season, he even took on more of a scorer's mentality. Went up in points, went down in field goal percentage. And with that, Boston ties it up. He gets a little extra credit for pushing the action. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. It's Okafor, top the key. Here's Covington. Shot clock at six. Bulls from the top of the key. No good. Now Boston takes it the other way. And even three on three break. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Ah, you fucked it up. Tell you what, he clearly had a brain freeze uh, on that one. You might just as well keep going straight to the bench. Celtics making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. <laughs> Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Roden kicks to Okafer. Now Noel. Pass to Thompson. Takes a three. That's good. And he made it. Thompson's got his first three points of the game. Didn't look like it was going to go in there, but yeah. Gives Philly the three-point lead. Pretty far these days. Coach Brett Brown, another former member of the Spurs. Now here's Lee. He's well, that was fun. Time, but no scoring yet from him. Turner kicks to Smart. Rebound by the 76ers. Usually, if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. 
He fought for that one, but yeah, good score there for Philly. Expanding upon their lead a little bit here. That's got to be job number one right now. Nothing easy on the inside. Here's Lee. Oh, he was wide open there, just a hole in the defense. I think he just sees some things that can be improved and wants to get everybody back on the same page. And usually that, to me, is a good use of the timeout. I mean, if there's something that he's noticed that can give his team a lift, um, I think he's got to try to take advantage of that. Yeah, it's still been a pretty close game, though, so far. Neither team's really been ahead by that much so far. Outside Landry... Outside Jackson, six to shoot. The 76ers need to get off a shot for three, Stauskas. Yeah, not quite able to dump it in there. He was close, though. And he made it. All right. This is a good score for Boston. Just a one-point difference now. That will change as he becomes more experienced. Here's Jackson following the score by Avery Bradley. It's Jackson with the drive. One up, one down. Dumps it in there. Nice. First shot this game. They're doing much better now. I mean, in the first quarter, they converted less than 30% of their field goal. But they've bounced back nicely here. Wow, that was a good-looking shot there. Boston ties it up. The end of the season, he was a big rotation guy. Yeah, and it wasn't just his scoring or ability to shoot that he displayed. I mean, we know he can shoot the ball, but he showed he's a very smart player in the half court and pretty good passer too mm -hmm. and here's Jackson after Jared Sullinger hitting his three. outside Jackson shot from the wing and it's Bradley with the rebound the Celtics have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far Sullinger the screen And here's Bradley. Sollinger is screen on Embiid. Sollinger inside. Working on Landry. Here's Johnson. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. That one on Embiid. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. I'm watching him here, Johnson Clark. He seems so casual about silently destroying opponents in the paint, and he's carried that air about him. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that one was going to go in, but it did. Nicely done. Kevin. He doesn't produce a bunch of highlights, but he's really potent. I mean, one of the league's best at defending opponents at the rim, grabbing in-traffic rebounds. Those both are valuable assets. Your Rebko's checked in for Boston. Thomas comes in for Marcus Smart. Cannon, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And Johnson drops them both. And talking about Amir Johnson, he, he's really the last of a discontinued model, if you will. When the Pistons called his name in the 2005 NBA draft, the year before the rookie age limit was put in place, he became the last 18-year-old drafted into our league. And, and it did take him a number of years to kind of get up to the pro speed. Here's Thomas after the main shot from Joel Embiid. Thomas passes to Johnson. Good. Puts it in. Johnson's got six points. This has been a very, very like back and forth fucking game so far. It's good shit though. That's what I like to see. Those are always the most interesting games. 
swinging it side to side until they finally get the one they want. Oh. Kicks and dishes to Cannon from deep three-point range, and that's not going to go. All right, so that's it for the second. Stay tuned for the third coming up next. Until then, peace out.